Hey guys, welcome. This is a demonstration of how to play Wingspan on Steam. Uh, I'm going to go to play here and start just a custom game. Let's throw a couple computers in here. Um, there's two different scoring systems. One where at the end of each round, by meeting certain objectives, you can get like the most points. It's kind of like a reward. Or just basically you score points and just it just totals your points you get. So I'm going to play the second mode. If you play online, um, It'll do the other mode, but they're pretty similar, and you would play the same strategy either way. I think the point score mode is probably a little bit less competitive because you're less uh, like racing for certain objectives. Uh, but in any case, looks like this is the start of the game. Uh, which player am I here? Okay, it's my turn, so I'll demonstrate a little bit how this works. Um, at the beginning of the game, you have five different food down here, one of each type, so berries, fish, uh, grubs and worms, mice, and seeds. And there's also five birds to pick from. And they can keep a total of five things, so I can keep five birds and no food, or no birds and five food. And I think kind of the, the golden spot is maybe two of one and three of another. Uh, the food costs are in the upper left here. So this red-bellied woodpecker, uh, to play him, it costs one grub or one seed. That's the slash. This uh, red-billed gull takes one of anything plus one of anything. So it costs two food, but it doesn't matter what kind it is. Uh, so that's basically how that part goes. Um, let's see what I want to choose here. I like this guy over here, this great crested uh, flycatcher, because his ability is gain one grub from the bird feeder if there is one. So this is actually going to help me uh, get more food if his ability comes into play. As opposed to this red-bellied woodpecker, it says... Um, actually, I guess this might even be better, because you can gain one seed from the bird feeder if it's available. And you may cash it on this card. If you cash a food on it, like you just put a food on it, uh, you basically just get a point at the end of the game. So all like your cached food... Um, basically anything you cash on a bird is worth points. So it could be eggs, it could be food, it could be other bird cards that go underneath the bird to kind of represent the bird has eaten that bird. Uh, so I actually like both of those two cards. I think I'm going to keep both of those. Uh, so let's see, this guy's going to take a grub or a seed. This is going to be a grub and a berry. So let's keep definitely a grub, definitely a berry, definitely a seed. And that's going to be it. So that's a total of five things. Now I can choose one of my bonus cards. These are end game objectives. Okay, so birds with bowl nests. Four to five birds, I get four points. Six plus birds, I get seven points. Do the birds I... I didn't look at the kind of nest my birds had. Let's see if I can... There we go. So this guy has... Um, what's that nest called? It's like just a hole? Cavity. A cavity nest, yeah. So these are both cavity nesters, actually. So, birds named after a person, two points. Uh, we got Great Crested. So, neither of these things are really birds I've chosen here. And I think you can actually change your mind based on these. Yeah, like I can still change my bind here. But, blue, mallard, green, build. So, this guy's a bull nest here. If a bird to the right of all the birds move it to another habitat. So, this guy's going to fly around to different habitats. That might get confusing, so... I'll just stick with these. Um, I'll just try to get some birds with bull nests later on. Okay, so you, in each round, there's four rounds in the game, and you, at the first round, you start with eight uh, turns, like these little action cubes here on the right side. So you get to do eight actions. On the second round, you have seven actions. In the third round, you have six, and then five in the last round. Uh, there's four actions you can take. You can play a bird card into one of these habitats. You can gain food from the feeder. You can lay eggs. Or you can draw cards. So there's basically four actions. Play bird, um, which is actually this one up here. That's kind of what it represents. 
this middle one is actually a habitat as well as an action. It's drawing food and then playing eggs and drawing cards. So forest, plains, and water are three different bird habitats or the three different bird habitats you can play birds into. Uh, let's see, so on my first turn, let's get some of these food abilities going. So these can both be played into the forest habitat, as indicated on the little green marker at the top of that card, with the tree on it. Uh, but which one's going to be better? Gain wheat from the bird feeder if available. Gain... I like this grub one, because I'm going to need a grub after I spend this. So I'm going to play this. I'm going to spend the berry and the food. Great crested flycatcher. These birds avoid competition by focusing on insects high up in trees. I'd like that you get little bird facts during that. Okay, so it's back to my turn here. Uh, you really don't have to look too much at what the other players are doing. You can. Um, it may influence your strategy a tiny bit, whether you choose to activate certain abilities that could cause them to get food. But generally, you're, you're just going to be fine looking at your own stuff. It's just kind of who builds the best engine of birds, really. Uh, okay, so I have one wheat over here, and this guy takes one wheat or a grub to play. But I can't play it yet, because the second column here, um, the first column, the first bird in each habitat doesn't cost any eggs to play. This one is going to cost one egg. So to play it, I'm going to need to lay eggs. So let's actually do that. I'm going to take the lay eggs action by clicking this. And I click on birds to lay eggs. Let's click on this guy twice to lay two eggs. And that is my action for this turn. Okay, so now that I have some eggs to spend, I'm going to... I should be able to play this guy. So I'm going to... I can, I can basically pay with a grub or a seed. I'm going to use the seed or the grain here because that's the only thing I have. And then I have to choose a bird to lose an egg from, so I'll use this egg there. Red-bellied woodpecker. These birds' tongues reach out two inches for insects, but seeds are half their diet. So what advantages do playing birds have? So, well, first of all, birds are worth points. These little feather icons, this is worth one, this is worth five. That's just end game points, basically. But now because I've played two birds and taken up these two slots, now when I choose this gain food action, I get two food. You can see down here I used the lay eggs action last time and gained two eggs. But if I had played a bird here in this habitat, this would actually be covered up by a bird and I would have gained instead two eggs with the option to convert a food into a third egg. If I had two birds here, I would just get three eggs on my lay eggs action. So you can see that as you progress with more birds, the action that you take gets more powerful. The same goes for drawing cards. You can draw, when you draw cards, by the way, you can pick from any of these face-up birds at the bottom or from the deck. So, um, now I'm kind of ready to get food, but I don't have any birds to play. So I think before I take the draw food action and decide what kind of food I want, I should get some, uh, some, you know, some birds for my next step here. So I do need birds with bull nests. Are there any that are face up? No, these are all ground nests. Um, but anything that'll help me, discard one wheat to tuck two cards from the deck behind this bird. That just caches points, basically. Uh, when played, draw cards equal to the number of players plus one. So this just helps you draw cards, actually. I'm gonna just draw bird cards. Actually, I'm only gonna get to draw one card. So I probably should make it count. Do I want to do a random bird? I should play... I would like to play a bird in the water environment because that's going to help me draw more cards. Because I... I should probably pick... Actually, all three of these birds can be played in the water environment. I think I'll take this guy here. So, okay, so I gotta activate this habitat by clicking on this part right here. So I will do that. And I'm gonna take this um, American Oyster Catcher. And that's my action for that turn.
All right, uh, so now I wanna play this oyster catcher. I'm gonna need two grubs to do that. And here's where the fun begins. So you've noticed that these when activated things, basically when I take this action, it activates everything to the left of it. So I'm gonna choose two food from the feeder. Uh, the feeder is this little uh, dice pile here. It can go up to five. When there is only one dice left or when all the food left is exactly the same kind, you can re-roll it. So this is basically a free roll for me unless I really want a fish as my first food, but I don't. I want to get some grubs. I'm going to roll. And let's see, I got one grub. This is a choice of either a grub or a wheat. So I'll take that. And I didn't get a second grub. Uh, so what do I want? The birds in the area here take wheat. I don't know if I'm going to draw one of them, but maybe I'll take a wheat. Okay, so now I've drawn my food. This red-bellied wood woodpecker has become active. Gain one wheat from the bird feeder if available. Oh shit, I should have gotten that. I should have left that wheat there because I should have, uh, I would have gotten it for free had I remembered I had that ability. Um, so I don't. And I also choose one grub from the bird feeder. There isn't any, so I don't really get that ability. You can also choose whether or not you want that ability to activate. You can choose just to pass on it. So if I played that a little smarter, I probably could have gotten an extra food. All right, so now I have one grub and one wheat. What's what's in the bird feeder right now? We got we got grub in. So let's actually do that again. Let's do a little smart smarter here. I'm gonna take this grub. I'm gonna take this mouse. Is anything new in the? Nope, same birds down there. I think. Yeah. I guess I'll just take the berry. Okay, now, gain one bird feeder from the bird feeder, or gain one uh, seed, so I will gain that. I can choose whether I want to cash it or take it. I'm going to take it, add to my food pile. Uh, and also, since the tray is empty here, or if the tray is empty or only has one food type, you can always reroll. Uh, gain one grub from the bird feeder. No grubs got rolled. Ah. That's right, I still have two now. All right, so I think I can play this black neck stilt now. Oh wait, no, that's not mine. I forgot. That's <laughs> sorry, I got confused there for a second. These are cards in the tray. This is mine. It's American Oyster Catcher is the card I have. There we go. Okay, got the food. American Oyster Catcher. These birds feed not just on oysters and shellfish, but also other invertebrates. So if I draw, I have the ability to draw a card. But if I do this, other players um, are going to be able to select from those cards as well. So let's see how this works. Let's say okay. Choose a card. All right. This condor doesn't have a food cost, and I get to draw a new bonus card. That's cool. It's worth one. Anything? Nothing with a, a bull nest, though. Dang. Ruddy duck's pretty easy to play. Just one food. Let's take this. Let's get some card. Some more card drawing going. What's this? What's going on? So, oh, so we're still drawing these going clockwise. So I guess I get this one too. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, do I have a grub or a wheat? I do have wheat. So yeah, let's play this. This column, you can see there's an egg on it, so there is an egg cost to it. So I'm gonna play this guy here. Uh, let's use the wheat. 
and I have to use one of the eggs that I previously laid. Ruddy duck. To display for mates, males slap their blue bills on their chest. Okay, the round ended. The uh, this round, I probably didn't go over the objectives up here at the top. So this just shows you how many points you got from those round end goals. Um, these are the goals up here at the top. So the, the goal for the first round was just the number of birds you have played. Then this round, you're going to get extra points for the total number of eggs your birds have laid in this uh, field habitat. All right, so this has been, I'll, I think I'll cut it off here. Uh, hopefully that's kind of an interesting introduction to how this game goes. And uh, if you are interested in playing, I'd be happy to uh, hit you up. Thank you.